Scowl is everything when it comes to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We know the goal is a recreation of the Earth and quite naturally this will extend to featuring all of the airports in the world. That's a lot of airports. And what's more, 37,000 of them are manually edited and these range from small airstrips to fuller sized international airports. And as to be expected, such airports will be found in all locations around the world. I'm Obsidian Ant and in today's video we're going to look at Microsoft's latest release where they discuss the creation of airports along with some features that we can expect to see in them. Before we get to all of that though, I briefly want to mention a few other things that Microsoft discussed this week. Primarily among these are the upcoming feature discovery series for March. The developers have decided to bring the video on multiplayer forward to the 12th of March and push back the video on IFR to the end of March. They say this is due to the level of interest in the community uh, regarding multiplayer, so bottom line, that's a pretty good change. The latest update also includes a fresh look at the current development roadmap. So on to airports then. Specifically, how are the airports added into Flight Simulator? Well, Asobo Studios went on to discuss this. Essentially, there's two main ways of bringing airports into the game. The first was to bring the existing airports from the previous game, Flight Simulator X, which actually contained around 20,000 airports. The second method was to build the airports based upon the satellite imagery. And do keep in mind that Microsoft already have entirely mapped the Earth with their Bing Map service. So access to satellite imagery is certainly a natural fit for them. Now, there's a lot of comments out there on the internet expressing just how amazing the areas are in Flight Simulator 2020. And this, of course, extends to airports. And in the past, we've seen flybys of some of the world's most famous airports, such as London's Heathrow. Now, Sobo discussed the creation techniques for them. And on initial inspection, their method is deceptively simple. They essentially trace parameters and basic features over the top of satellite photos. And this might sound a little like using tracing paper as a kid to recreate an awesome drawing, and perhaps that wouldn't be too far from the truth. But the fact remains that this is a process that lays the foundations for amazing levels of detail for each element of the airports, including, but not limited to, the runways and taxiways. And even the parking spots are set to match their real-world locations. So next up, Asobo set the uh, surface areas of the airports to match their real-world locations. So that might be grass, concrete, desert, or indeed anything else. The final step of the creation process is the, perhaps the most interesting one. And to me at least, it seems more than a little like magic. So essentially, the software's algorithms uses all of this data that Asobo have created, as well as that of the original satellite photo, to create all the post-processing effects, as well as a final look of the airport. Now, runway and taxi labels are also generated as are windsock animations, in addition to the creation and placement of lights. Now, Sobo didn't go into detail on exactly how these things are generated, and simply attributed it all to their algorithm. And really, on the one hand, this really does feel like they're missing out on explaining a key element of the process here. Just how does their algorithm achieve all of this? But on the other hand, this is seriously impressive, and it makes sense that such a tool would be required. After all, how else do you recreate the entire Earth without some level of automation and intelligent algorithm? Now, whilst automation appears to work very, very well, Asobo realized it's not the be-all and end-all, and wanted to ensure realism as much as possible, especially when it comes to some of the most recognizable airports. And for this reason, they manually worked on 80 airports from around the world to ensure that all the details, such as labels, etc., match their real-world locations and uh, names. And again, this was extended even further for certain specific airports, the most iconic, where buildings were manually created and placed, so that essentially the airport here matches exactly how it should in the real world. Now, my personal takeaway from all of this then is that a handful of the world's airports are going to be represented in almost perfect replication, matching as much details as possible to the real world. Meanwhile, all other airports around the world will have significantly less real world detail, but that's not to say that they won't look great, or that they won't be detailed, but it is to say that the vast majority of the world's airports will be mostly created by computer AI with a degree of human assistance. Ultimately, this is a really compelling method, and one which I suspect will work very well. 
It will allow the most recognisable locations to be almost like-for-like -like replicas, whilst also allowing for literally thousands of other airports without the investment of impossible levels of working hours to create them. No doubt, the same methods have been used to create all the towns and cities of the world, so personally, I'd love to see a deep dive into the technology that Asobo have created here, as well as an exploration of just how Asobo's algorithm is able to achieve all of this. No doubt though, there's a lot of stuff that both Microsoft and Asobo would like to keep secret. Either way then, airports have certainly been lovingly created, but they're nothing without life. They need to be active, and as such, all airports within Flight Simulator will be full of life. Impressively, this includes not only vehicles, but also people, which also look to be very well animated considering the scope of the game, and also these workers have been placed in vehicles as well as other areas. This level of ambient activity combined with the improvements to services such as gateways really does bring the game world to life. In some ways, it's hard to look at scenes like this and believe they're actually from a game. Now, other services include refueling, which comes with plenty of levels of control, as well as a catering truck to supply your plane with all the essentials. And further, these services and how they behave can be customized using the various tools available. So then, a very nice look at how airports are going to work in and around Flight Simulator 2020. That then brings us to an end of this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.